Hello, in this video we're going to look at the mathematics behind the total differential. So we're going to start with z, and z is going to be a function of two variables, x and y. Uh, the change in z, delta z here, is going to be approximated as the following. Okay, so dz is, we can think of as a change in z, and it's going to equal the partial derivative of the function with respect to x times the change in x plus the partial derivative of this function with respect to y times a change in y. So dy represents a change in y. So once again, dx technically represents a small change in x and dy represents a small change in y. And as I mentioned, this notation here is the partial derivative of z with respect to x. And this is going to be the partial derivative of z with respect to y. So let's do an example here. So here z is a function of y and x, and we're going to take the total differential here. Okay, we want to break down the, 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 the change in z from a uh, change in x and a change in y. So following this notation, the partial derivative of f with respect to x gives us this result here. We've got the 2 on the, uh, as an exponent on the x term. Bring that down in front. And then on this exponent here on x, it's going to be 2 minus 1, just leaving us with x raised to the first power, just x. And then we take another partial derivative, uh, this time with respect to y. So bringing the 1 half down in front. So we got, that's why we got this 1 half here divided by 2. And then y, we're going to have 1 half minus 1 in the exponent. So we got y to the minus 1 half power. Following the rules of exponents, y to the minus one-half power is just 1 over y to the one-half. Plugging these results into our equation above, we have the total differential of z. Okay, uh, let's let y equal 4 and x equals 2. And I'm going to plug these values back into this equation over here on the left. So when y equals 4 and x equals 2, z will equal 8. And now let's w let y equal 4 and x equal 2.2. Notice there's been no change in y. Okay, so dy or delta y is 0. And notice the change in x here is uh, 0.2. 2.2 minus 2 is just 0.2. And so if we again plug these values, these new values, into this equation z, z equals now 9.68. So the change in z here is 9.68 minus 8, or 1.68. We could also approximate the change by using the total differential. So we're going to plug in our original values for y and x. So y is 4 and x is 2. And I make that substitution right here. So in parentheses, our original value for y is 4. Our original value for x is 2. And then the, the dx here, the change in x, is going to be 2.2 minus 2. So that's where this 0 0.2 is coming from. The, the dx here is the change in x. So x went from 2 to 2.2, a 0.2 unit increase. And then the second part of this total differential Again, we're going to evaluate x at our original value and y at our original value. I'm not even putting these in here because the change in y, you know, what is the change in y? It's 0. y doesn't change in this problem. y equals 4, and then we also let y equal 4 again. So that's just going to be all multiplied by 0. D, the dz equals 1.6, which is a pretty good approximation of what we, of what we found uh, by uh, evaluating the equation twice at one set of values and then another set of values. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.